It's summertime in Central Texas. Today I'm going to take you to the home of a former swimming diving pig. You don't see me swimming or diving, so don't pop off. Plus, a current dive bar that claims to make one of the world's best or the best Bloody Mary ever. That's on this episode of the Attitude Adjustment Hour. <laughs> San Marcos, Texas is about 30 miles south of Austin, and it's one of the oldest settlements in the state. This is home to the former Southwest Texas State University, now it's called Texas State, home of the Fighting Bobcat. A river runs through it, namely the San Marcos River, spring-fed, it's a popular destination for fishermen, kayakers, swimmers, and a lot of people come down here with inner tubes and life rafts and rafts, rafts with their beer, and a lot of co-eds, oh yeah. As you can see, summertime's for swimming, tubing, and picnicking down here. The San Marcos Springs are the primary source of water for the San Marcos River. 200 springs bubble up from the Edwards Aquifer to the tune of 225 million gallons of water a day. Now the river is the main destination for visitors, but back in the day this was home to a very special amusement park called Aquarina Springs. Some of the attractions they had were glass bottom boats, which they still have. You can board them to check out the amazingly clear waters, underwater creatures that are there. But they had a Disney-like sky ride that would carry you over the springs. They had an upscale spa hotel and resort at one end. And the shows included gals dressed like mermaids, swimming underwater, doing underwater acrobats, and a water-loving pig named Ralph. Okay, the great thing about Ralph, he'd pull off what they called the swine dive. Get it? Swine? Swan? Yeah, clever, huh? And he'd dive into the water several times a day and swim around in this stuff with a bunch of gals dressed like mermaids called the Aquamaids. And if that's not entertainment enough for you, they had this disturbing underwater clown, Glurpo. Can you think of a more screwed up name than Glurpo? Oh my God. And they'd swim around in this water down below with the Aquamaids. They had breathing apparatus, but Glurpo would come out of an underwater cave and he'd come up to the glass, do this silent scream thing. I mean, you know, just terrifying. Can you imagine how many kids have been mentally affected by Glurpo? I mean, nasty. I mean, this guy's like something out of a Stephen King book. So bottom line, this place, the university took it over in the 90s. It's no longer a water park. It's actually a nature center. They've let it go back to nature. Good news and bad news. I'll give you the bad news first. No more Aquamaids, gals in their little mermaid outfits, and no more Ralph the diving pig in the water swimming around with the gals. The good news, Glurpo probably went to prison for something. I mean, finally they got rid of Glurpo. So that's a good thing. Nothing wrong with that. It's a hot summer day, everybody cooling off in that river, and that's the way to do it, great outdoors, right? That's going to cool you off, not as far as I'm concerned. I like the great indoors, and the showdown says they make one of the best Bloody Marys ever. We're going to put them to the test because that's bold talk. Let's go inside. Okay, so you saw the outside of this place, and it is totally not reflective of what's inside. The outside has that weird 60s remake, some bad bricks, some bad uh, aluminum glass, whatever. I mean, you never want to really come in here. This is the coolest bar inside that you've ever seen. It's got old wood filigree steps and crown molding on the top. They took down the roof, used to have all kind of t-shirts on. They said they got way too ugly, way too spider webby and way too nasty. They took them down. But all over the walls are some of the great old signs, Lone Star Beer, Schlitz, good beer signs and business signs. This place is so cool. And the reason we're here, the big claim, is the Bloody Mary. Documentary. Yeah. Oh, I love that celery salt, man. Is that right? Pepper? Yeah, celery salt, black pepper, Tabasco, Worcestershire. 
Vodka, of course. Why not? Okay, you saw him make it. There was no secret in here, but it's a great looking Bloody Mary. And the funny thing is, they got rid of the celery that is the usual accoutrement, if you will. And they loaded it up with the Spanish olives, which is a cool thing. A little, little change there. All right. Here we go. Ooh, that's nice. That's perfect. Spicy, the celery salt. Oh, that's a delicious egg. And refreshing on a hot day like this, this Bloody Mary's fantastic. The Showdown. Now, the Showdown's really popular with a lot of the students that go to Texas State. I mean, it's really the local hangout. In fact, a lot of the people that go there all the time have their own beer mug, personalized beer mug, up above the bar. A friend of ours that went to the school in the mid-90s told us about a very special offer that they used to give back in the All day. Right, my name is Carissa Caswell, and I attended Southwest Texas State University from 1997 to 2002. And um, uh, during my time there, our favorite place was uh, the showdown. We like to go there because they have the best Bloody Marys in the world, and it is hands down the best hangover place and San Marcos. Uh, and in San Marcos, there's this really long train and it covers the only two streets that enter the city. And uh, we were on our way, it was about 10 till eight. We were running a little bit late and we got caught by the train. So inevitably we messed our class. And at about 8.30, we're sitting there looking at each other in the parking lot of the, the university, trying to get on the, the tram. And we decided not to even attempt to get on campus that day. And instead we decided to go to the showdown uh, for Bloody Mary Delight at 8.30 a.m. They opened back then at about eight o'clock in the morning. And her boyfriend, Sean, told us, hey, if you're first person in the door, you're going to drink until the next person shows up. So we did. We Wait, went to the showdown. You're going to drink free? For free, yeah. Drink free until the next person shows and, up. And uh, we proceeded to drink for free until about 12 or 12.30 <laughs> when we tried to leave. Uh, and so we had to call our actual roommate, uh, Amber, to come get us. Um, she left work. She was really angry because we called her completely belligerent. Uh, she had to come pick us up from the showdown. We went to close out our tab and we didn't have one. So they did not lie. We it. drank for free from 8.30 a.m. to about 12.15. So that's a great deal. That, believe me, that deal's not offered here anymore. Loaded up, but you know, I wish they put a few more olives in that baby. But bottom line is, the best thing about this, $3.60 for this drink. Three sixty dollars for seriously one of the best Bloody Marys I've ever had. That's a good deal. Showdown. So here it is to the Texas State Fighting Bobcats, to Ralph the Swimming Dancing Pig, and of course to a great Bloody Mary made right here at the showdown. Here's to you. Great Bloody. You can catch all episodes of the Attitude Adjustment Hour at aahour.com. The MP3 audio is also available on iTunes and on your iPhone. Follow me on Twitter. I'm Den Cruz. That's D-E-N-C-R-U-Z, all one word. And I'd love to hear your feedback and your suggestions. Email me at aahour at yahoo.com. So hopefully I've lubricated the thought process for you a little bit. I'm Dennis Cruz, and thanks again for joining me on the Attitude Adjustment Hour.